Hello, welcome to this edition of uh, the Evening Review. My name is Taiwan Jabela, your host. Let's quickly look at today's front page of Namibian Sun. So tonight I'm joined by Red Barrett, uh, that is uh, Kalim Boyfumbo, is uh, Vice President uh, of uh, Namibia Economy Freedom Fighters and uh, also an MP of uh, the party in the National Assembly. Welcome to the show, sir. Yeah, uh, very well and thanks and evening to the viewers. Sure, sure. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, uh, NEFF. Uh, it's a new party, relatively. Uh, surprised a lot of people by securing two seats in the national in the national assembly um how, how did you make it last year <laughs> in development <laughs> yeah probably would say it's a new party but it's not new it's it's an old ideology yeah. that needed just to come out and to make sure that it it's really bring out what it's uh, uh the Arabian people need to hear which yeah. is economic emancipation yeah uh, making it to parliament uh it's actually based uh, to the outcry of the people yeah. that have really rallied behind this party. Mm. Uh, remember uh, Namibia for the past uh, 29 years before we t took part in 2019 elections, yeah. people have cried yes. that they are not really living a, a very decent uh, life mm -hmm. uh, despite having all the natural resources uh, within this motherland. Mm -hmm. and, and we had to go down. On, 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 on to the masses yeah. and make sure that we we preach to them yeah. with a radical message mm. for them to understand that for us to survive yeah. we need to understand that we are Namibians and we should or we ought to live mm -hmm. with what we have yes. created by God on this planet mm -hmm. uh, uh, this uh, 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 Namibian land mm -hmm. so uh, it was out of uh, the, the masses of the Namibian people that they understood the concept of economic emancipation that what exactly are we talking about when we are saying economic emancipation yeah. what do we mean sure we need to make sure that our people understand we need to make sure that economic emancipation is to make sure that when you go to bed at least with something that you have eaten yeah yeah, yeah. Well, well, what is <clears throat> what is uh, because of course for you to come up with uh, that ideology and actually bathing into it into something uh, practical like the party now, yeah. it must have been uh, it must have arised out of something that you an anomaly that you felt was was happening. What, what is wrong with the, our current economic structure? You know, for for the past twenty nine years, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. is that after the liberation struggle, yeah. our people. Uh, stand to embezzle just to themselves yeah. our economy mm -hmm. forgetting that uh, they were they were actually actually supposed to be the 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 the, the n not the masters but the servants of the masses on the ground yes so for the past 29 years these people continued to enjoy uh, forgetting that they were put there mm. By those masses of which they were supposed to sell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, in actual fact, we, we decide enough, it's enough. Yes. And uh, remember, uh, already the founding father, when he said, okay, now that we liberated the country politically, mm 
Mm. We should now fight for economic emancipation. Mm. Mm. So we, we, we tend to realize that the, the, the leadership of Swapo tend to forget mm. that they were put there to save the electorate, mm. not actually themselves like what they have been doing the, for the past 29 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and, and so, so where, where does your party draw its support? Um, I know that you and the president of the party, Mr. Mkwilongo, uh, originally from uh, perhaps Oshana region, uh, in the northern part of the country, but where, where do you think you draw your support from so much that you went to... Namibia Economic Freedom <laughs> Fighters is a Namibian party. <laughs> yeah. So you cannot really say <laughs> you draw support from which region. Yeah. Like if you can go to the past elections, mm. in all 13, 14 regions, mm. we managed to get uh, uh, votes. Mm. Uh, that, that simplifies that Namibia Economic Freedom Fighter represent Namibians, yeah. not a specific uh, uh, regions or a specific tribe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Indeed. Um, so you are in parliament now. Yes. What, what must we expect uh, to see from EFF, from any EFF? Yeah, uh, for us, uh, probably saying we are into parliament, we are not new into politics. Mm. We have been in politics, we have been following. And uh, what we expect from NEF is that the current debates within parliament, it's actually not uh, supposed to be the way it has been in the past 29 years. Mm. You see, in the, from the beginning of this uh, uh, seventh parliament, mm. uh, there are actually a lot of uh, things that have changed. The current administration, which is the ruling party, what they expected, it's not actually what they are seeing now. Yeah. They are actually robust debates mm. within that parliament. Mm. And uh, for us, we are not there to go and argue with people, but mm. argue in terms of making sure that the policies that are set against the good living of our Namibian people mm -hmm. are really looked at and then revoked if possible yeah. to make sure that we ex exercise a possible living of our people uh, of Namibia. Indeed. Yeah. Namibia Economic Freedom Fighters. Yeah. Are you guys a branch of any of EFF in South Africa? Do you report to Julius Malema in South Africa? <laughs> we are a political party in Namibia. Yeah. Anyway, we do uh, uh, have uh, engage into political activities in terms of briefing each other how uh, the south african politics is how the zimbabwean you know eff is actually everywhere now in africa mm. so we are trying to make sure that we liberate africa mm. from this colonial era from this white capital monopoly mm. so we, we want to make sure that at the end we go into the footstep of what the kwame kuruma them mm were actually dreaming of uniting Africa so that we do away with these borders mm. and make sure that an African mm. should be an, an African. Mm -hmm. A Namibian should be able to go to Egypt yeah. and should not be regarded as a foreigner. Mm. So we must make sure that when, when we move around Africa, we are as brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. We are actually a, a, a sister party mm. of which we share the same ideology to make sure that we liberate our people economically mm -hmm. african economically mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes so when you say sister party maybe just expand on that is yeah. there any formal uh, memorandum of understanding any formal or do you just uh, or do you just happen to be parties because the name itself of course yeah. i know there's also eff in in in, in in zimbabwe for example and yeah. you said of course that uh, it's a broader concept across the continent yeah so y y at a technical level, what, what kind of relationship do you share with uh, with who? That's that's already says itself. Yeah. The name yeah. EFF South Africa, EFF Namibia. Mm. Already that name yeah. have sentiment, the relationship between yeah. all these organizations. Yeah. Economic freedom fighters. Mm. So we actually want to liberate our people economically. Yeah. That is already what sentiment the relationship between these organizations but you are not a branch an official no branch. no no not not necessarily a branch yeah. because at the end if we unite africa we want to at least have one president yes. of africa uh -huh. yes indeed yeah. um so you you we have another the, your party have another opportunity this year uh, there are elections uh the regional and local authority elections in november yes. uh, november 23 now we know um what can we expect uh, your party to do in that election? Uh, we have been planning already uh, from the beginning. Oh, let me go back from 2014 yeah. when we formed this party. Mm. Uh, we said even though we could not 
uh, retain seat or get seat 2014 elections. Yeah. We knew what we were doing. Yeah. For us, it, in actual fact, it was victory. Yeah. Because remember, we got the certificate in October, yeah. and then elections were in November. That was 2014. Mm. And for us to get defeated through that EVM machine, yeah. uh, we, we didn't really worry. Yeah. Because we needed, we, we know, uh, I mean, we knew exactly that. We needed, again, that specific moment to go on the ground and yeah. make sure that we, we we explain our ideology properly yeah. to the masses for them to understand what mm -hmm. are we talking about economic mm -hmm. liberation because you get people who are saying how do you liberate us economically mm -hmm. but my, my friend look at the current economic uh, crisis we have within the country yes. this i think that we've been talking about that for the past 29 years mm -hmm. our economy is just in the hands of the few mm -hmm. and we need to make sure that our people understand that when we talk of the natural resources yeah. they don't belong to a certain tribe or neither mm. a group mm. or neither a political party <laughs> all namibia should actually survive mm. Mm. from these natural resources mm. so for us this year we are looking at uh, uh, participating into all local authority elections mm. we are not really going to engage into constituency because we know our people still need that understanding mm. to know what exactly are we trying to come up with we want to make sure that our people are the ones to decide we, we have the issue of land People don't have anywhere to stay. Mm. And, and it's because of political uh, elites that have grouped themselves. Mm. And then they are only giving to those that are connected to them. Mm. So we want to make sure that we at least get seats within the local authorities yeah. and make sure that our people are catered for properly. Yes. Yes. Indeed. And um, so the, the chief of elections was uh, seated exactly where you are seated now on Friday last week, yeah. uh, Mr. Tio Muyoro. Um, and he confirmed that... Uh, they will not be using uh, EVMs in this year's election. Uh, they are going to use. They are going to revert back to the ballot system. Um, what what opportunities does that present uh, in terms of? Uh, because you always hear these things. Of course, people will say no. EVMs are controversial. They have no paper trail. We don't know who got what. Yes. And then, but but again, the the, the 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 claims of rigging existed even during the ballot paper. But from a perspective of uh, any any ff which system will uh, take us forth forward you see using a borrowed paper that's that's actually where you can say that is uh, credible elections then transparent elections yeah. uh, things that we can account to mm -hmm. uh, for us already 2014 before we partake into that elections yeah. we have complained about the evm without the paper tray yeah but n nobody looked at that one. Mm. Again, in 20, before 2019 elections, we have been trying to engage with all the stakeholders to say, let's fight this EVM without a paper trail, because this is the root cause of yeah. everything. Yeah. And even the results that we are now today into parliament, we never knew that it will be like the way it is today, mm. because uh, this is not the, the results that we are expecting. Mm. We are expecting at least more than what we are, we are seeing now. Mm. And, and, and I'm telling you, having elections with a ballot uh, paper unless otherwise mm. ECN mm. is still uh, uh, doing other things behind door yeah. that we don't know mm. but if they are really going to conduct these elections with, uh, 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 with, with credible accountable being transparent mm. I think uh, with NEF you are expecting a lot and uh, a lot will be uh, in the hands of the Namibia Economic Freedom Fighters. Indeed. Yeah. Now, your your party. How much do you think your party benefited uh, from the current chaos, if you like, uh, in Swapo? Uh, they had one of their own members in the name of uh, Dr. Itola standing as an independent, and the party is divided. Um, the party lost a lot of things. Well, how much do you think of that division in the party has benefited your party? Uh, that question came uh, most of the time. And, and I'm telling you, I've been the one running the, 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 the database of our party. Mm -hmm. And uh, not really to say we have benefited from that chaos. Mm -hmm. Because uh, knowingly that uh, the, the database of, of NEFF is running up to 70,000, mm -hmm. of which the number that we got from this election is something that we cannot really believe. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the chaos, I know, not only NEFF probably, but mm. then what about other political parties? Of course. At least NEFF got its two seats. Yeah. And uh, looking at the database of its membership, it's not even uh, worth it to have two seats. We could have more than that. Mm. So in actual fact, we are saying everything that this was, the, the outcome, in actual fact, it was modernized by the EVM without a paper tray. Mm -hmm. So th that's actually that. Yeah, yes. indeed. You, you, you spoke earlier about... Um, how the ruling party has not lived up to the expectations of the people. You, um, your own history is that you were also in the Congress of Democrats before. Mm -hmm. Do you just have a fundamental issue with Swapo or are you a party hopper, you, you move from one party <laughs> to another? <laughs> uh, with me, my, my history is very short. And uh, for those that were with me in the Congress of Democrats, they know that Kalimbo Ipumbo is a very principled person. Mm. And uh, why I left the, the, the COD is because there were no principled reason uh, of, of being there. Mm. Uh, we were trying to, to make sure that we uplift the, the, the growth and, and make sure that the, the party uh, stands. Mm. But then there were those that felt it's their party mm. so uh, then we thought we, we don't belong there mm. we, we want to save the nation and there are there were those that want to save themselves mm. it, it's actually a syndrome of, of probably these Tanganyikas mm. yeah uh, uh, COD most of the people they were Swapo peoples mm. and it's 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 their strategy probably but mm. but then f for us the, the the feelings that we have for this nation is that let's at least go advocate make sure that we represent the masses mm. I will be here happy to see that at least Namibians are not going to bed hungry, mm -hmm. whereas we have enough resources that can feed this nation. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Yeah. The final question, Mr. Ipumbu, is about um, the events currently happening in the country. We have COVID-19. Uh, there were lockdowns. There were relaxations of some of the regulations. Yesterday, uh, on, on, on Monday, the president, President Hage Genkop, um, announced uh, a string of of measures including relaxing some some things allowing some of the um, uh, the tourists to come from low low risk countries to come to start visiting from july onwards what is your party's uh, reading into that that situation uh, already yesterday uh, when i when we were listening to the message from the head of state uh, we we almost really corrupt because uh, we thought the president is uh, surrounded by people with a real uh, emotions uh, toward the, the Namibian people. Mm. You, you cannot be willing to open the borders. Yeah. While at the same time you are saying we should at least go ahead with the reopening of the schools. Yeah. Do you know what you are saying? Are you seriously doing it for... For, for, for the lives of the Namibian people, yeah. or are you doing it to benefit for yourself? What is that that we want mm. from outside? We have money in the bank. Why are we not giving money to our people to produce things that can sustain our own people? Mm. Why, 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 what, what exactly our president is trying to do to imply to our people? Mm. You see, opening up the border, for what reason? To bring the Chinese in? Or who is going to come into Namibia? Mm. And remember all these cases of COVID. They, they came in because of people who came in from uh, from outside mm -hmm. and how what will we expect if we open up the border mm. we are then going to experience a lot of uh, covid 19 cases mm. just imagine today another case reported in Nengela. Mm. this somebody the truck driver drove from Nodover throughout the country mm. to Nengela, and the person tested positive just mm. imagine mm. if we open up the border what are we expecting Please, the president, whoever is around or next to the president, whoever is advising the president, mm -hmm. I, I think this should be, probably we are saying uh, this should be a message to them. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, we are going really to make sure that we organize the masses mm -hmm. and we march and make sure that these things is revoked. We, you cannot open the board, again claim to reopen the schools. Mm -hmm. What is this? Already ourselves as elders mm. are unable even to sustain this mask mm. what about the children yeah and then you are opening the border what would have been the best way to if if any ff was in charge and your mr mkwilongo is president is the president the and oh, you are yeah. the deputy uh, the vice president of the country the, the whole thing that will happen i mean we could we could we have already set our base that 2020 should be 
and interrupted here. Yeah. Let's let's view emergency as an emergency. Mm. What if it was war? Mm. Would you say no children should go to school, or would you say uh, we rather stay home? Mm. Neff would say, let's have 2020 as an interrupted year. Yeah. Let's rather equip mm. all the schools with all the essentials. Let's make sure we train the teachers. Do you know that we even have teachers who cannot operate computers? <laughs> yeah, that, that is very serious. <laughs> and rather we, we train our teachers, mm. equip schools, make sure that we have running water in all schools, mm. and le try then to engage with the young ones to, to, to make sure that this mask mm. is wet this way, mm. and if you took it, then it, you, you might be contaminated. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 we could, could actually put it on that platform. Mm -hmm. I, I think this government is being reluctant. I, I think somewhere, somewhere, people are divided. Mm -hmm. There are people that are pulling the other side. Some are pulling the other side. Mm -hmm. Either to see one failing mm -hmm. or probably getting uh, their way out. Yes. I, I'm telling you, Namibia is not ready. Yes. Today, as I'm talking, there are even schools without masks. Mm. And those masks that have been uh, prepared uh, throughout the region, these young ones, when it, uh, they put it, it's even covering the whole face. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> so we rather, we rather concentrate on one path yeah. uh, uh, until at least December. Yeah. Th then, then January, we will resume mm. with all preparation in, in, in place. Indeed. Yes. Mr. Pumbo, thank you for coming to the evening review. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank that you. is uh, Kalimboi Pumbo, is the... Uh, Deputy or Vice President rather of uh, Namibia Economic Freedom Fighters, the Namibian Red Berets in the National Assembly, uh, speaking to us about his party and its the ideologies. Good night.